I'm Jo Pratt and I'm going to show you a ridiculously healthy recipe and it's a seeded salmon with crushed minty peas. Now this recipe is so healthy because it's great for your memory and for your heart, it boosts your immune system and can prevent cancer, it's an anti-inflammatory and it's good for your digestion and it can help alleviate irritants from seasonal allergies. What can go wrong? Nothing. It's a perfect recipe to do and that recipe plus more wonderfully nutritious healthy recipes are in my latest book called In the Mood for Healthy Food. As for the salmon, it's one of the most popular fish that we buy, so I thought I'd just show you something a little bit different to serve on top. I'm going to do a really nice crusted topping using lots of different seeds, which will really give you a boost of omegas, which you're getting from your salmon, but also an addition from the seeds themselves. Now the seeds, I've got some linseed or flax seed, depending on what you want to call them, some chia seeds, you can use black or white, hemp seed, and sesame seeds. Now you can just use one of these or you could do a mixture of all four and I'm going to do a mixture of all four for this. So first things first, I'm going to do a recipe that serves four people, so a tablespoon of each one into a pestle and mortar. So in with the flax seed, in with the chia seed, so both of these are great for your digestion and they're going to be really, really good for boosting those omega fatty acids. Hemp seeds and some sesame seeds. So four really great tasting, quite crunchy seeds. But like this, they're just a bit too coarse. So I'm going to grind them down just in a pestle and mortar to make them a little bit easier to coat the top of the salmon. Crushing the seeds makes it easier for the salmon to be coated with them, but also it actually makes it better for them to be digested once you eat it. So that's it, they're crushed enough, and then they're ready to coat the salmon. Now to do this, we need something to sort of act as a glue on the top of the salmon. Now I have four really lovely salmon fillets here. I've left the skin on um, because I think it's really nice when they're cooking. You just get a great flavour coming from the salmon skin. It's completely edible and obviously it gives you more goodness as well. Um, on top of the salmon for the coating, I want to glue it with some wasabi paste. And I think it's just a really nice, slightly fiery flavour. I want to put about a teaspoon on top of each one, like so. I'm just going to show you how to make two of these, but the recipe does serve four. Now if you didn't want to use wasabi, if the sort of slightly fiery flavour of wasabi isn't for you, then you could use some tomato puree or even something like some pesto. But for me, I think the fieriness and the flavour that you get from that wasabi paste is just delicious and works really nicely with those seeds. So spread over the surface like so, just over that top, doesn't need to go on the sides. And then the seeds, I'm going to season them just with some salt. So a pinch of salt in there, and that will season all of the fish really nicely. And then tip it into a bowl that's going to be big enough for a piece of salmon to sit in. And then take a piece of salmon, it's coated with the wasabi paste, and then just sit this into those seeds and coat the surface, just pressing down lightly to make sure that they actually stick and then lift it out. Perfectly coated. Let's take another one. So there's enough seeds in here to coat four salmon. Now we did four tablespoons of the mixed seeds, so every piece of salmon ends up with about a tablespoon on there, which is brilliant because you get so much goodness and nutrients coming from those seeds for each piece of salmon. And that's that one. Now once you've reached this stage, you could actually put this in the fridge and cook it later on. Or, of course, you can cook it straight away. But it, for me, it's the ideal dish to make in the morning, pop it in the fridge, and then when I've come home from work, I can just start cooking it. So, get yourself a frying pan and just make it really nice and hot. And then the salmon itself will release quite a lot of its own oil naturally into the pan. But just to get it started, I'm going to add a trickle of olive oil into here. You could, of course, use some rapeseed oil or even coconut oil if you wish. Okay, so let's pop the salmon in, skin side down, because I want the skin to go really nice and crispy, and the salmon to cook from the bottom upwards. So there we go. Let's turn that down to a medium heat, 
And then you want to leave that cooking for about four to five minutes, depending on the thickness of your salmon, but certainly with salmon this thickness, you can leave about four minutes. So while the salmon's cooking, you can prepare your vegetables to go with it. And for this, I'm doing some crushed minty peas. Now, peas is definitely one of those ingredients I think most people have in their freezer. It's a brilliant standby, very good recipe to use. It's very, very high in vitamin C, brilliant for your immune system, and great for keeping you nice and healthy. So what I need to do for the peas is take a saucepan, put in some stock. Now, I'm using chicken stock because it has a really nice rounded flavour. You could use fish stock if you wanted to, or even vegetable stock. I've got about 125 millilitres straight into the saucepan and I'm going to take a garlic clove as well. Just crush into the pan. You can finely chop it if you want to. And just straight in. And I'm going to heat these up together just for about a minute until the stock's boiling and the garlic has just softened down nicely and it will really infuse that flavour of the chicken stock. And then the peas go straight into the pan with that stock and the garlic, straight from the freezer. And this will take about one to two minutes. You just want to heat it up until the peas are nicely heated through. I don't feel that we need to cook the peas as such because they're so lovely and tender on their own. So while the peas are heating through, I'm just going to grate the zest of a lemon and finely chop some fresh mint. Okay, so the salmon's now ready to turn over. Onto the other side, just so it becomes nice and golden and just finishes off that cooking process. You can see on the edge it's just almost cooked through. And then add the lemon and the mint into the peas. In it goes. And then let's bring that over here so it's all heated through. I'm going to add a pinch of salt. Twist of black pepper and then just using a potato masher I'm going to just lightly crush them. So all of those flavours are just mingling together now. You could make this into a puree if you wanted to by blending it but I like the texture of the pizza and they're just crushed with a potato masher like this. And that's it, you've got your peas ready to serve, and once the salmon's finished cooking, you can serve it up onto plates and it's ready to eat. So let's check the salmon, it should be lovely and golden underneath, and it's just slightly pink still on that centre part, which means it's going to be lovely and tender all the way through. There's nothing worse than overcooking the salmon, and of course don't forget it will carry on cooking once it's been taken off the heat as well. So now it's ready to serve. So let's... Do a nice big spoonful of the peas on the plate. You could, if you wanted to, serve this with some nice new potatoes or even some pasta or couscous. I quite like keeping this as a really nice light meal and just serving the salmon. And believe me, it's really filling and you certainly can't overeat on something like this. It's really healthy. Let's sit the salmon on the plate. There we go. And then just as a little serving garnish, but also an essential part of the recipe as well. Having a little bit of lemon, just to be able to squeeze over the top as well. So let's sit that on the side. And there you have your seeded salmon with crushed minty peas. Now if you want this recipe, you can just click on this link. So using a combination of the seeds to coat the salmon, we've got a mixture of flax seed, hemp seed, chia seeds and sesame seed will really boost those omega levels, giving it a nutritional punch, as well as giving you some protein and antioxidants.